I'm Alexis, and this is my guide to unlocking access to Old Scalamance, which is the version of the dungeon as it was way back in vanilla. This is part one of a three-part video to getting the Reigns of Valiance, a secret mount released in the Dragonflight expansion, so be sure to check out my other videos if your end goal is to get them out. The three videos explain the steps to unlocking old Skolomas, unlocking old Naxxramas, and finally unlocking the tier 3 vendor to finally get them out. Before we start, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It'll help my channel grow and I'll be able to put out more content more often. Now sit tight, pull up your sleeves, and let's start the grind. First things first, you're gonna need to unlock old Skolomas by using this toy. Krastinov's Bag of Horrors. This toy drops from Dr. Thalen Krastinov, which is a rare spawn in the current Skolomance dungeon. However, you do not need to have the toy yourself. You can start the process with another person in the party who has the toy. So skip this part if the toy is thwarted. If you do, however, need to get the toy yourself, you will need to run the dungeon up until you reach Rattlegore. Defeat him and you'll know if Dr. Thalen spawned because you will see in the chat Dr. Thalen Krastinov yelling, the doctor is in. If you don't see this message, it means he will not spawn in this run and you can try again tomorrow or on other characters. You can do the run once per day on each character. It took me a total of about 10 runs to get the toy, so not that bad. If he does spawn, you'll see the doctor in the next room, defeat him and you'll get the toy. It should be 100% drop, so grats and let's continue. Continue the run all the way to the final boss, Dark Master Gandling. Defeat him and then go to the room that used to be the doctor's room in the original Skolomas, which is the top center room. And at the left side of the room, you will see some bones. Use the toy on top of the bones and using the toy will transform you into the doctor himself. And at the same time, the ghost Eva Sarkov will spawn and she will seem frightened by your presence. Simply remove the buff Eva will then realize you're not there to butcher her, and she'll thank you by giving you an inert spectral essence. This essence needs to be repaired with 3 dark runes and 5 essences of undeath. You can farm them out, but getting them from the auction house saves a lot of time. And repairing it will change it into a spectral essence trinket. Equip it and now you'll be able to see ghosts in Caradaro. This will be useful later on. After repairing the trinket, you'll need to go back near Eva and loot Eva's femur from next to her in the pile of bones. Next, run out of the dungeon and you will find Eva outside of Skolomas. She will ask you to find her journal and five candles to be used to perform a ritual. You will be able to get the candles from different citizens in the area in exchange for a lost item. First item, Eva's journal. It's in the dungeon itself, go back to this room which is the room before going down to the last boss, go behind this bookshelf and you should see Eva's journal, loot it and run back out. Now for the candles. You have to get three lost items from Eastern Plaguelands and two from Western Plaguelands. I've written the items and coordinates in the comments below, but let's go through them together. The ones in Eastern Plaguelands are the Road Ahead painting, this is on the wall inside the inn at Corrin's Crossing, coordinates 5464. Trampled Dog. It's under a Darrowshire meat wagon, coordinates 3583. Undelivered Shipment of Smokes. This is inside Stratholm. Enter the dungeon, go left, go left again, and you will find the item on a wagon behind the fountain. Next, we have to go to Western Plaguelands, and you'll need to find the deed to Andor Hall. You'll find this in the Andor Hall Town Hall, inside the big room, coordinates 4469. And lastly, we go back just outside Skolomance, near the fountain, to get the Caradero Fountain Water, coordinates 6878. Now that you have all the items, be sure that you have the Spectral Essence Trinket equipped, and return the lost items to the following ghosts. Sammy, he's next to the fountain, coordinate 6978. He'll give you a ghost warding candle in exchange for the trampled doll. 
Magistrate Marduk, coordinate 7074. He'll give you the authentic Andorhal candle in exchange for the deed of Andorhal. Joseph Dirt, coordinates 6874. You'll get the stinky candle in exchange for the fountain water. Rory, coordinate 6375, giving you a tobacco-filled candle in exchange for the shipment of smokes. And lastly, Artist Renfrey, coordinate 6575, you'll get the important candle in exchange for the road ahead painting. Now that you have all five candles, time to perform the ritual. Go towards the Skolomance entrance, but this time, go to the right side and keep going forward into the small room. You will see a small metal grid or vent-like object on the floor. Click on Eva's journal and you'll start performing the ritual. You'll get the achievement Memory of Scholomance and now you can enter the old version of Scholomance by clicking on the book in front of you. The achievement is account wide so you can do all Scholomance on all your other characters. And that's the end of part 1 in this 3 part series. If your end goal is to get the Reigns of Valence, you can watch part 2 and 3 of this video series. It's a long process but worth it in the end. Don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.